Hey, greetings everyone and welcome back to day two of the 30 day success challenge. Well, today is a special day. If you didn't realize it, it's a palindrome day that came back in about 900 plus years. Today is February 2nd, 2020. So think about it, 02022020. And it just happens once in about 900 plus years and that's where we are. So it's a special day and I'm sure you're excited about watching the Super Bowl game. So think about it. It's the only Super Bowl game that's happening on a palindrome date in about 900 plus years. So isn't that something to be excited about? Great. And you should also be excited about you starting on this journey if this is the first video that you're watching of this series. This journey about bettering yourself as well as doing something which is going to be phenomenal for your life. Well, yesterday we spoke about how to kill that imposter syndrome. Today we're going to talk about something different, which is how to find that business angle, that business that you want to get into. A lot of people talk about finding that niche and they talk about going deeper and deeper and extricating yourself out of the bigger picture and going deeper so that you can really specify what's that problem and what's that customer base that you can go after. Well, I want you to go back out. I want you to go and look at it from a 30,000 foot level. That's what we're going to talk about today. So how do you figure out where your heart lies and where there's a true business problem that needs to be solved? Well, I'm going to ask you to do an exercise. Number one, based on your own life experiences, put together a list of all the nuisances as well as all the problems that you have faced and that come to mind. It could be anything. It could be something like pulling your car out of the garage and trying to be careful that you don't hit the wall. It could be that, or it could be anything, something like that, a list of problems that you have often faced and now you want to be able to solve them. And next, make a list of your likes and dislikes. What do you really like? Do you really like talking? Do you really like writing? Do you really like being able to talk to people and explain things? Or do you, are you a shy person? You know, do you dislike talking? So make a list of things that you like and you do not like. And then take your lists and then bring them together in confluence and say, of all these problems, what do I believe I can help solve? And if you can come up with a solution, and if you can also come up with things that you like, that's the approach you need to take in terms of acting on these problems that you have. So what you do then is to validate this, pick about five people from your circle, friends, family, couple of family members, couple of friends, and put it in front of them and see what they have to say. You need to get a little bit of external validation from the sense that it's not just you thinking that this is the right problem to solve, but you also need others to be able to tell you. And based on the input that you get, you glean and you figure out and pinpoint which is a problem that you're going to go after and solve and how you're going to solve it. If you're good at writing, maybe you need to start writing blog articles. Maybe you need to be out there trying to get your name out there so that you can get published. If you're good at talking, maybe make videos like this or get into speaking sessions or masterminds, whatever you want to do. That's the way you need to figure out what is that one problem that you will be able to solve and what is that skill set that you have in order to solve that problem? And what do you like about how you can go around solving that problem? Once you've figured that out, you have the big picture in terms of the problem and the solution framework as to how you're going to get at it. And now is the time to go deeper and deeper in terms of really crystallizing who your ideal client is and what that problem means to that ideal client and how can you bring the solution forward to them. So that's what you got to do in terms of making sure that you understand what's that big picture and also how to go about solving it. So before you niche down, niche up, look at it from a 30,000 foot level and then start niching down in tandem, complementary with your skill set, your likes and your dislikes.